All right, another day, another weekend uh, working on the uh, Baker. Still haven't swapped the cab, but we have a second spindle painted. There's the first one. And I'll show you later, but we got a bunch of stuff for the front end. We got all the bushings needed. Um, we got shocks front and rear from Rock Auto. Uh, we still haven't located front springs, but it's coming. We're uh, cleaning up the uh, lower control arms. And Derek on this one, this, we decided uh, three of the bushings were very, very good. This is the only one that had we had uh, problems with. It was crap, so we just bought that bushing. So this is a brand new bushing. So Derek's just gonna pound it in. And we'll see if that's it. See if it's lining up. Pretty close. Stand look. Oh. oh, it's too. Uh, we'll get a little block of wood or something we can put on there. But yeah, we got all this stuff. So we got all the ball proper ball, ball joints now. We got all the spring bushings. Derek even put one in there. We still have to do the other three. Well, yeah, we were lazy around here. Is it going in? So a little. Just a matter of getting it straight into the here. And then earlier, well, we snapped the bolts off in there, so we Derek heated them up and with the torch and pulled them out. Keep it from collapsing. Mm, a little bit more. Just don't hit my fingers. No. There you go. There. It's fine. Yep. Yeah, where's yeah. my bolt? Oh, we got new bolts. Yeah, we got new bolts. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, and these bu these bushings will. If you watch the, the previous video, we actually pulled them out by hand pretty much, so they weren't seized in there. The rubber looks nice. That must be. Okay. Mm -hmm. Good grade bolts. 
Okay, uh, we've uh, cleaned up, cleaned and painted, primed and painted uh, the lower control arms. So we're we got a bunch of brand new bolts. Uh, we got some uh, anti Loctite anti seize because apparently this one didn't. Uh, they don't do that from the factory, but we're gonna anti seize all these bolts so they don't. So in uh, 50 years when uh, someone tries to rebuild this truck, <laughs> they'll be able to take the uh, bolts out with their hands. We're just slowly cleaning, uh, cleaning and painting front end parts. We'll hang this and then we'll press in the brand new ball joint. Originally they came with uh, lock nuts. We're just, we just put brand new bolts. We're going to put lock uh, washers in them. And we haven't done with anything more with the transmission adapters. And we thought we would have more done today, but uh, we had a visitor, a fan, come by and chat with us for a bit. There's the uh, passenger side. This is what cleaned up all of those. The second one cleaned it up, painted it. There's the. Uh, upper one it's all been prime, clean prime painted we took the the bushings out there's that these are the rear shackles we could not find these rock out they were uh, out of stock at rock auto so we just bought uh, new bushings and uh, put them in. Fun fact is though, Rock Auto was out of those bushings. So we bought the bushings for the leaf springs. We actually bought six of them, thinking that they would fit. They didn't. So what it ended up doing is taking uh, all this mess. They were slightly slightly smaller the original one didn't have these bushings have an out there are steel outside these ones don't they have rubber outside but we uh, the ones we did so to make up the room I just cut a piece of sheet metal wrapped it around the bushing and then we hammered it in there and it's not going anywhere it's quite tight it's mashed it since this one this thing's not completely oval or it's straight round so we made it work it'll work these just go in there still gotta paint that side Derek's grabbing the ball joint we'll follow him and we'll Put some anti seize around the ball joint too. And he's just grabbing his press, so. Hey, just applying some uh, anti seize. And a spacer.
<laughs> the two. I'm not gonna make it with that one. I gotta do it with the that one, and then switch. Get it started, uh, and then switch it. Okay. What what make is this? I don't know. Doesn't say anything on the case. So. Okay, still not gonna fit in. Easier than getting uh, cutters. Those are just, those ones are homemade. But they're made for various. Okay, I want this one. Yeah, that one there. Sure. Still not. Yeah. Okay. Guess we could have done it with the control arm off, but. Moving. Oh, yeah. I can come up all the way with that. Okay. Yeah. You don't have to worry about it. I don't do this very often. So. <laughs> no. Most of the ball joints we uh, work with are bolted in. The truck moved. Go up some more. See, I struggle enough. We're gonna struggle some more off camera. Right, Lighting the damn thing up. Yeah, getting ready to put the new uh, bushings in the upper control arms. Just putting some anti C's. So, as I said, in 20 years, when someone else has this vehicle, because <laughs> uh, we'll be dead. Um, they can service it easier. Then we're not going to use a press because right the press is at 
Ryan's place. And we don't feel like going there. So we're just going to pound them in. And I do have a fire if I just don't feel like doing it at home. <laughs> it's easier. And I predict that they're going to go in just fine. And we just got a little uh, brass to protect it a little bit and to keep it up. And same with up top. That's a piece of steel, though. turns I'm moving it slow I think I don't yeah know. moving slow this one looks like it's a little cocked but okay I'll straighten that one out then Yeah, looks straighter. The, the rubber, it's hmm. harder than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh, I want it. I don't like to do it this way, but. Yes, not the correct way, but it's the backyard way. That works fine for me. Oh, yeah, it's going down. I had my anvil higher. Tight, but oh, you don't turn, turn. Yeah, I got it all. Shut it. And it should be tight because it's brand new. Yeah. There, I'll hold it. There we go. Well, that'll be fine. Yeah, you probably have to put a screwdriver on there and. Cause it's probably it's probably tight because it's brand new or brand new bushings this is used oh yeah there we go normal. yep perfectly acceptable i got the washers in here now yep those are in there that's good if we have to flip 100 flip, degrees. Yeah, it's got these grooves. They go on the bottom. And a big washer. And a nut. I believe those are lock nuts. They'll work. And we made marks and plus the the, the rust uh, made marks so we can align it up fairly close and once once this gets tightened up I'll just take it with a little brush or spray it and with black and make it look nice and pretty
Okay, top ball joint. Just getting it greased up with the uh, anti-seize. We cleaned cleaned all the rust and cleaned the paint in there with just a little wire brush. And we looked and we looked and we couldn't find the proper tool, so we got the next best thing. A big ass crescent wrench. A Oh, that's not the lobster. No, that's a China made yeah. one. I usually had the lobster one. Feel any different? I think it's good. got it now. Yeah, it went down. Yeah, oh yeah, it definitely went down. these loose because we're gonna wait until we get the actual weight spring in there and the weight on the the front suspension and then tighten up those okay so we're putting the spring back in actually we got these springs off of a uh, uh, out of a junkyard they were from a six cylinder so we're hoping they are we measured them they measure both the same uh according to the specs on the internet their free height is uh is right there so and they look pretty good um so we got our spring compressor in there same thing we did when we we're pulling it apart it just goes through there it's got a washer and hook there hook there with our little clamp we put the the new well the original rubber pad up back up in there and on these ones they need to be clocked a certain way so that we figured out where it is so it's clocked correctly and derek's just going to Okay, so now, now if we put the spit, yeah, if we put the spindle in now. Yeah, it's back on flat now. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We have the spindle. And yes, it's the right size. Side. Yeah. We have a nut. Tighten it. Top the taper in, but yeah, we can tight. We can tighten those up. Yeah. Okay. I guess you can. Um... I would tighten these up, sure? and then yeah, because we can move this. We we can get that bar in. Tighten these up, and then we'll. Uh, you can hold the bar, and I can release the pressure and. Someone's trying to phone me. Hmm? Someone's trying to phone me. Oh. Okay. You're good with the cotter pin placement? Yep. Okay. So. Tell me when you're. Yeah, I'll get you. Yep. Hey. Okay. Oh. I, I did set it on reverse for you. Oh.
So I'll let uh, Derek keep wrenching. So uh, I think we're going to end this video here. Uh, we got a little uh, run back to the city. So uh, hope you like this. Um, it's a little bit boring, just front end work and a little bit of painting work. Uh, I've got uh, the rear leaf springs painted. Uh, they're just drying. There's the other coil spring we haven't put on. So that's ready to go on. Still got to work on the adapting the transmission. We did figure out uh, there's the Dodge uh, pressure plate. We're probably going to end up using this Dodge pressure plate and just go with the Chevy throw it bearing and a Chevy clutch disc. But yeah, if you like this, uh, always uh, tell your friends, comment on it. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, just subscribe. Doesn't cost you anything. It's, I think it's free this month, as Corey, Corey says. And I'll give you a sneak peek of some stuff that uh, Derek's been working on. Uh, let's see, where is that? Well, there's part of it. If you can guess what that is, <laughs> it's coming. It's uh, going to be an upcoming video. Oh, oh, there's another piece. This isn't from that. If you can see what that is, I'm not going to tell you what it is, but uh, oh yeah, there's a fender. That's not a trailer fender. Oh, there's a gas tank. Part of a gas tank. So that's, uh, Derek's been working on that. So that'll be an upcoming video, probably. Probably in maybe next month. Give us, give us a few weeks. Derek's slowly working on that for a good friend of ours. And uh, he's also been working on one of these things. Boring. But <laughs> anyways, we gotta go. See you later. Bye.